Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound FeOH2. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you have an ionic compound with uh, three or more different elements, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to identify the polyatomic and then work yourself you know, through that. So always identify the polyatomics first. But polyatomics are never, ever, 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 ever going to be on the periodic table. They have to be memorized. So I wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to see here. So just use flashcards or write them out, but you're going to see these all the time throughout your chemistry course. OH, which always has a negative one charge, so it's collectively a negative one charge, is called hydroxide. And I could spot out the OH right here. The other element that we need to talk about is Fe, which is iron, and iron is right here on the periodic table. So it's part of the transitional uh, metals, right? So it's a metal. And now all the elements are accounted for. So now we can start naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So the iron, which was the metal, is just going to stay iron. And now since OH is a polyatomic, those names always stay the same. That's why we have to memorize them. So this would be iron hydroxide. But now, since it's ionic, just make sure, do I need a Roman numeral or not? In this case, we do, because iron is part of the transitional metals. So I do need a Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. Well, how do we find that out? But that's pretty easy. What we're going to do is we're going to say how many we have of each the metal and the polyatomic, crisscross those subscripts up, and get the charges. I had one iron and two total hydroxides. So this one crisscrossed up, telling me that OH was a negative one. And this two crisscrosses up, telling me that the iron is a plus two. All you have to do now is just do a quick check. Is this the right charge for hydroxide? Yes, it is. That's why we have to memorize the charges as well. A lot of memorization with polyatomics, right? So since this checks out, this checks out. So the charge of the iron is a plus two. So I just got to write a two in here. I don't have to write a plus. I just write the number. And that's it. So iron, two hydroxide is FeOH2. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Uh, click subscribe if you want to help us out. And I hope you guys are doing well. Good luck on all your future tests or quizzes. And see you in the next lessons. All right, bye-bye.